Another puzzle. We know that all DNA polymerases can only add new nucleotides to a pre-existing DNA strand. That means that short primers must be synthesized at each origin of replication and thereafter at each replication fork at the start of each Okazaki fragment. Since DNA polymerase could not make these primers, what could the primers be? By the time this question arose, it was already known that RNA polymerases catalyzed RNA synthesis or transcription and that these enzymes do not require a primer, that they could start a new nucleic acid against the template from scratch, that is to say from the first nucleotide. So maybe, it was thought, RNA is the primer of replication. And analysis of purified Okazaki fragments eventually revealed that indeed they had a short stretch of RNA nucleotides at their five prime ends. Primers can range in size, but a typical Okazaki fragment might have 20 to 50 RNA nucleotides attached to a 1,000 or more than 1,000 base long DNA nucleic acid. Various experiments hinted that an RNA polymerase was active in replication and the enzyme that made this primer was eventually isolated and called DNA primase.